have stand against my rights. Your grace to pass through and your grace to us back. Jesus, we bless you so much. Oh, Father, we bless you so much for your kindness and your goodness in our life. Oh, Father, we are doing everything and great in thy faithfulness. from sin, but yet the Bible said that we shall no more become a slave to sin. I want us to pray that Father, any sin that we have entangled ourselves with, any sin we find ourselves in, Father, may you, may, you, may, you, may you forgive us of all these sins. Father, in the name of Jesus, there are so many acts that we defile your name. We, 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 are, we are able to go against your will, oh God. Even the act of rage, respect, lies, what we are not able to to show how worthy we are to worship you, God. We are not honest to you, God. Father, forgive us for all these things. Father, we come before you, O God. The word says that a broken and a contract and a new life shall not forsake. Father, we come before you this day. Now, Father, you may forgive us of all these sins. These little sins we do, yet we do not consider them as sins. May you forgive us of all these ones. Now we are committing today's program into the hands of the Lord. That He, the Lord, should come and take us from the control. For whatever that is going to happen here, we pray telling the Lord that He should come and take us from the control. That as the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, He should stand with us and then we'll enter successfully. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, O God. Now, Father, we commit today's program into your hands, O God. As you have started with us, Father, may you end with us, O God. Now, Father, this program shall come up and then become a success in the name of Jesus. Now, our last prayer, we are praying, committing the act into the hands of the Lord. That as all acts that have become effective, we are praying, telling the Lord. That let this one be effective in the name of Jesus. That we the youth will be able to hold on to it. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, O God. That as other arms that are scum, O God. Let this one be an outstanding one, O God. That it shall become more effective in the name of Jesus. More than we've been expected, O God. But let it become effective, O God. In the name of Jesus. Leba Sade de Brada Basini Brikadebaha. Ima Yadanda Baba Rama Sade de Bo. Jesus, we pray, O God. Now let this one become effective in the name of Jesus. We thank you so much. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bless you and we thank you so much. Your grace has done it again in our lives. We didn't think and we didn't reason now we are alive this day, but your grace has done it for us. Oh, Father, we thank you so much for an opportunity like this. Father, we commit to this activity into your hands, O oh God. Now, Father, come and take absolute control. That at the end, glory, honor, adoration shall be given unto your name. We bless you and we thank you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray with thanksgiving. Amen. Praise the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Youth. Arise and run. And youth. Remember your creator. Youth. Power to live for Christ. Amen. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Amen. Now reserve the third one. Reserve the third one. Praise the Lord. And then the God has blessed us with this time that we see. And He has blessed the occasion that was planned. And then Yajan Papa no Penufo Anemu Emma Yinina Kwaba. To the long awaited launch of the Pentecost Youth app. Yet, uh, this, I mean, this app 
is an idea that has come with the leadership of the Church of Pentecost. As we seek to possess the nations and as we seek to build workforce, God brought this idea so that we will bring this up close to young people. We'll bring whatever they need, the Bible and so many other things they need to help them and to build muscle, to be grounded in Jesus so that they can be strong to possess the nations. So the reason why we have gathered, as uh, I stand on, on behalf of our fathers to declare, is that we have gathered here tonight to launch the Pentecost Youth app. Hallelujah. And on that note, I want to humbly welcome all of you, uh, those of you here in the studio, and then our followers online, and those of you who are watching to this August uh, event. The Lord has brought us with the presence of many, uh, many as in those of you watching, but some few people here in the studio because of COVID-19 restrictions. And I want you to know that uh, by the grace of God, the National Executive Committee of the Youth Ministry is here. Uh, we want to welcome all of you. Thank you very much. We also want to introduce or acknowledge the presence of the Evangelism Ministry Director, Apostle Amos Jimmy Markin. That you are welcome. Yes. Thank you very much. We have in the studio our fathers here and I want to introduce to all of us the father and the patron of the youth ministry of the Church of Pentecost, our dear Apostle S.O. Asante. Please put your hands together. Let's celebrate our daddy. Thank you very much. That is a blessing to have you. He has come all the way from Kofurudia uh, to be here. He is the area head of Kofurudia and then also a member of the Executive Council of the Church of Pentecost. We have also been blessed with the presence of our international mission director. In the come on, put your hands together. Come on, you want to shout wherever you are. Our dear apostle Emmanuel J C Ado, Daddy, thank you very much for coming for this program. And then in the chair tonight is our own daddy and our general secretary. Hallelujah! Our daddy, who is called Apostle Eni. Our dear daddy, Apostle Alexander Nanaya Kumila, be the general secretary of the Church of Pentecost. Thank you very much, daddy. Thank you very much for the audience. I believe that you are going to be a blessing tonight. Amen. conversation with a counselor on the youth app and he has no idea who he just spoke with. Now for many of us youth there are some things we just can discuss with our parents, our family or even friends. Well you don't have to worry about that anymore because with the youth app you can connect and chat with a counselor and you get to decide whether or not he knows your identity. Isn't that amazing? And for those of us who have something to sell or advertise, you can do so on the same app to thousands of people. Now let me get back to my chat. You should download the app. Your favorite streams of living water devotional comes handy on the Pentecost Youth app. 
the devotional is automatically updated each year. This section gives us access to the devotionals throughout the year. As of the time of the recording, the devotional for the day is seen in content 19 of June. You can go through the day's devotional and hey, you can as well create personalized notes as you continue with your devotional. You can tap on create notes and save your rima for the day. Hallelujah. Enter a note and click on submit. You can always come to this section and tap on read to review your notes. Now check this out. You can share the notes on most social platforms, WhatsApp, Instagram, Twitter, iMessage, etc. You can mark each devotional as read, meaning you will have a statistical analysis of your devotional life at the end of each year. And oh, there is also the Bible plan. This feature presents a digital service for the Read Through the Bible initiative by the youth ministry. And at the time of recording, we are reading Psalm 68 to Psalm 71. You can click complete reading to record your reading achievement and provide a report on your efforts yearly. And as well, quick note. Since notes created are attached to your personal account on this app, you can log in on any other device and still access all notes even in the case of a stolen phone. Here also, you can switch Bible versions and change the interface of your app from the dark mode to the bright modes. You know something? Your Christian life just got better? Be grounded for sure. Unfavorably judged, stigmatized, the dread of having a secret shared won't let us be. The Pentacles Youth app gives users the ability to chat with credible counselors either anonymously or publicly. In the app, chatting publicly means the user's counseling questions or queries can be viewed and commented on by others. A user's identity can be seen and verified. Assuming I want to go private, I click on the counseling button on the main menu bar below. Choose a category. We have the general, marriage, education, career, sexuality, spiritual, medical, addictions and more categories. As an example, let me visit the marriage category. And choose a marriage counselor out of the menu. Say, I tap on Mrs. Pusla Egan. A pop-up appears prompting you to select your counseling mode to either show your identity or hide it. And I believe everyone would want to hide their identity. Well, let me hide my identity too. Hiding your identity on the counseling feature means, for example, your username changes to a unique, unidentifiable code like a277 here. When Mrs. Presla Hagen can no longer see your name, you certainly can talk to her about anything, yeah, anything. Let's chat to Mommy and this example. Hello, Mommy. I want to marry you a lady in the church, but I'm shy to confront her. What do I do? Mrs. Presla Hagen, the counselor, will see this message anytime she comes online on this app. So, 
you can have healthy interactions while using the counseling feature. We have the National Youth Director, several pastors and overseers, and credible counselors. We can chat with about anything, anytime. You can have them make yourself public as well, where counselors can verify your own true identity. Assuming I want to go public from here, I can select the marriage category as an example and view chats relating to marriage. For this example, the person or user made a public post but changed their identity to KJ197, which is not a name, but a quote to represent him while his identity is hidden. An anonymous user sends a message which Pastor Hagan offered a reply. Since his post is public, people can comment and as well, I can also comment. The counseling section is simply also. Download the Pentecost Youth app and enjoy. of this unique app that we are bringing to you and um, there are more that we will want to talk to you about but before then please let me introduce to you ladies and gentlemen the developer of this wonderful app Daniel Owusu and a round of applause please Christ to you. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. Hallelujah. Over the few months, it's been a mixed feeling of delight and stress. And of course, a wish to deliver such a holistic application, which is very user friendly. And we are so grateful to God for that. For us at Uwatek, it is more than a contract, but it's our quota that we contribute to the body of Christ. In person, my very self, it has been a section that I have really loved to give out. I know that this app would go a long way to affect our people spiritually, morally. And we are believing and hoping that this will not just be a home or a connection between our people, but it will create worth and also it will create a section where we can have access to communicate with God. Tonight, I feel very proud and I'm happy that we have a resource to show. In this era, I mean this era, we have IT which is being utilized for the progress of God's work in missions, in our deliveries, in every sector of this nation. We hope that this application will be an application that will be, will be able to give unto our people the access. We also know that this application is not a difficult thing when it comes to the beliefs of OATEC innovations. At OATEC, we believe that the difficulty of this has come to an end. Over the period of working with the proactive leadership of the youth ministry, it has been, I mean, the leader, leaders have been excellent. They have been very pro proactive. And the truth is, we, we believe that this app would be a perfect app for our generation. I have no doubt in my team, the capacity of my team, but this app is meant to make a statement 
not for myself, but for the very young people across the globe and in this nation, that everyone that has a burning desire to show to the world, there will be one day opportunity for them. We are bent to making this app a great app and to let our leaders, I mean our beloved church and the world know that no one in this world will despise our youth. Amen. God bless us. The Marketplace. The Pentecost Youth app comes with an amazing marketplace feature. Beyond being grounded in the things of God, this app comes with a business section which enables young people to do good business with ease. Targeting over 600,000 users, this app becomes the go to platform for young entrepreneurs and business people to own their own online shop, buy or sell anything anytime. In the marketplace section, we have various categories. The general category, fashion, electronics, mobile, automobile, applications and more categories. To buy a product, browse through the categories available. For example, let me buy myself a cool MacBook Pro. I just click on the product, observe the product description and pricing. I can click to view the seller's detail and confirm pages by contacting the seller with the details given. What if you want to own your own shop and sell your own product on the Pendigos Youth app? You can click on the home button, then go to settings at your upper right corner. Scroll down and click on Pay Rent. We have rental payment modes: six months for 100 cities, 12 months for 150 cities, one month for 20 cities, three months for 50 cities. Select say one month for 20 cities and click the Proceed to Pay button. You are then linked to the payment platform where you can pay by mobile money. You can select a mobile wallet. Say MTN at Otigo Vodafone or any. Enter a valid mobile money number and an optional email. You can then click Make Payment. You can also pay via debit cards using either a Visa card or a MasterCard. To a successful payment operation, you can click Done at the upper left corner and go back to the marketplace section where you can find the shop icon on your top left. You can push your product which will be approved immediately and made available to a very large user population. You can push your product which will be approved immediately and made available to a very large user population. Before we end the marketplace section, we observe that users can see trending notes, view Bible plans, change user passwords, or update profile details on the user profile setting. Now you can smile, be grounded, and enjoy the Pentecost Shoot app. to the all new Pentecost Youth app. This app presents six major features you will certainly love. 
This walkthrough captures the visual brief of the most loved resources feature of the app. Yeah, you resources feature. From the menu list at the bottom of the app page, you can find resources where you can access youth ministry related resources. The number one resource is the video resource. You can't miss any youth event with this feature. Simply view videos of youth events by clicking on a preferred video thumbnail in this section. Number two, the audio sermon feature. Audio sermons are pre recorded messages from our dear leaders of the church. Here we have episodes of the message grounded in Christ by Pastor Ebenezer Hagan and more. Listen to an audio sermon by just tapping here. Number three, the music resource. The music resource feature gives us access to compose songs by our ministers of the church, theme songs and more. You can tap on a song to listen or type on lyrics to view the lyrics of a song. Number 4. The Document Resource Feature Get access to relevant documents published by the Youth Ministry and the Church of the Whole. Access of the Vision 2023 document from the Youth Ministry, Guidance and Counseling document, 2020 White Paper by the Chairman of the Church, Study PDFs and Books, and more. Number 5. The Photo Gallery You won't have to change media men for your photos at youth events anymore. Right on the app, you can see photos of leaders, individuals, groups, or photos from events right here on the Pentecost Youth app. people my name is Sofu QB. Charlie have you thought of a one-stop shop app I mean a Christian app that presents you with everything everything from music to devotionals to counseling and to buying and selling buying and selling yes the Church of Pentecost youth app is that one-stop shop Christian app for you as we launch it on the 20th of June by the youth ministry of the Church of Pentecost Charlie get logged in log in and never log out one thing that I, I love so much and excite uh, excites me about this app is the aspect of the devotionals where it gives you an opportunity to also contribute i mean in tech i mean when you find a rima those times we used to say ele deep if you find some deep rima in there you have also an opportunity to contribute to it so Charlie, let's get ready for it it's something that's going to bless the nations of the world bless young people bless people across the globe and so Charlie, get ready for it get ready for it and hey we're all going to be grounded in scripture and in the way be grounded bless some people I was down, you came to rescue me, you gave me light and took the You arrived and shine. I'm here to tell you about the Pentecost Youth Mobile App. I believe you have downloaded it by now. And if you haven't, please quickly get to it. Because this is the app built for all young people and all Christians across the globe. This app has been built for us to be firmly grounded in Christ, even as we possess the nations. So do it as soon as possible. God bless you. Amen. That's why we call you Alpha. Oh, may God you on the Hello, everyone. Hey, brother. Hey, sister. I want to thank God and leadership for this opportunity. I am Elder Makafu Inyamadi. I am a National Executive Committee member and the lead person in charge of promoting and development of our technology platforms and social media uh, handles for the past eight years. Tonight we are launching our mobile app, our website, and also our social media handles. We want you to know that we have so many exciting facilities and features on these platforms 
Therefore, if you are a youth member, you are a youth worker, uh, we are encouraging you to be part of us. Now the life is going to be on virtual platforms, so you can't afford to miss that. We want to encourage you to be part of us. Go to all our social media handles, and there are three things we want you to do for us. We want you to go like, we want you to go and follow us, and we also want you to go and share with your friends and colleagues. It is going to be exciting. Those of you who don't know about our social media handles, just go there and type the Church of Pentecost Youth Ministry on all our handles, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and also the Instagram. We want you to be part of us. You can't afford to miss, to miss out. Uh, we are expecting to have one million following by December. It's a big challenge. We are throwing to our youth workers all across. We want to possess the nations for Christ. Be part of us, and God will bless you. Amen. same app, you can buy, sell, and make some good cash. Charlie, make what? Then download this app when it is finally launched. It did be wow. So, Charlie, make what? Then download this app when it is finally launched. Today, and of course, in very, very, uh, in a very short time, this app is going to be launched. And then you could download and install and begin to enjoy it. By the grace of God, we have come to the launch proper. And so we are going to get ready as we do the launch. If you are there, I mean, as we get ready, I want you to know that immediately after the launch or at 8 p.m., you can go right there. Uh, on Play Store and then begin to download and then install and begin to enjoy it right there. Thank you very much. And now we present 
It's the Lord. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. That the Lord has made. We will rejoice. We will rejoice at the gladness. And I humbly request my dear colleague apostles to join me here as I do the official launch. Apostle Jimmy Martin, you can join me here, and I will all the apostles. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has built, that the Lord has built on this country. We will rejoice, we will rejoice, and the Lord has built, and the Lord has built. This is the day that the Lord has built, we will rejoice, and the Lord has built. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has built. to the Almighty God for the opportunity given me this evening to be part of this special program. Some of us were born before computers, that BBC. So we are trying to catch up. But thank God we have a vibrant youth. The, the sons of Issachars of our time. We've been able to design study the terrain, and come out with things that will help us possess the nations. So on behalf of our dear chairman and the executive council of the Church of Pentecost, I declare the Pentecost Youth App duly launched in the name of God the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Good. So I humbly ask Apostle Dr. Amos Jimmy Markin to pray because I'll come again. So I want him to pray over the whole app. Shall we pray, please? Almighty God, we are grateful to you today. We bless you for this great innovation that you have granted the young people of your great church. We want to bring it to you like every other thing that the world is using inappropriately. We are praying that this will be an alternative version that is going to impact our young people positively, touch their spirits, souls, and bodies, direct them to do things aright, refocus them on you and make them prepared for your coming. I pray, O oh God, that your spirit will brood and rest upon this app, that it will meet our every need in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you for this. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 You can put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. So he said, download it now. It means that the app has been launched. And so you can download it now. Let me just mention that when apps are launched like this and you want to look for it, normally it may go down. I mean, Play Store, it may go down. So the way to bring it up is to, for instance, ours is Pentecost Youth App. So Pentecost, then 
underscore, bring underscore, and then youth, then you again bring underscore and then up. This is a procedure with new apps. You easily see it come up, but as we continue to, I mean, download, it comes up and you don't need to bring underscore. And so you can look for it right now. Uh, we, in, in some short time, we are going to be there on App Store too. Those of you who are using iPhones, don't worry. You may not get it immediately, but just about a day or some few hours, you can now get it. But Android, uh, go all the way to Play Store and you can see there. Right? It has now pleased the Lord that the teams that have been brought together to take care or to play various roles in this app. When you form web wire and you have a dream of what happened to you, as soon as you say, you have a dream of what happened to you, you have a dream and so we want to humbly introduce to you the counseling uh, team, the team of counselors that are behind this app. are the counselors that are going to be serving on the app. They come from varied backgrounds, various exposures. Many of them are trained professional counselors, some cyber counselors, and all that pastors there. Every area of counseling, we have got the men and the women. And these are people who understand young people. And as we rightly said, you could even receive counseling attention by deciding to hide your identity. Maybe you may be called KN41. And the counselor is going to give you attention and, and you are going to be fine all the way. Until you yourself, maybe at the point you want to now want the counselor to know you. And so I humbly want to also introduce to us the team uh, who have been put together. They are called the ambassadors for the app. Ladies and gentlemen, the ambassadors for the Pentecost Youth. And now we go to the technical management team. These are going to be the engineers and the IT guys who are updating the, 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 the app, working, uploading, and all that. And they are a team of very wonderful people. This is a youth app, and our young people are actively there doing many of the things uh, themselves. And so I humbly introduce to you the technical management team for this app. At this point, we humbly would want to hand over to our international mission director. Put your hands together for the Lord as our daddy comes. Come on, put your hands together for the Lord. Don't stop it. Oh, hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Before we pray, I just want to quickly look at uh, us. I sat down the uh, scripture just came into my mind and I took my Bible to look for it and uh, luckily I found it in Ephesians 1, uh, Ephesians 2, sorry, Ephesians 2, 1 and 2, uh, 1 to 3, Ephesians 2, 1 to 3 and it says that, and you he made alive who were dead in trespasses and sins. This is from the New King James Version. In which you once walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit who now works in the sons of disobedience, among whom also we all once conducted ourselves in the lust of our flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were by nature children of wrath, just as the others. And then it continues, uh, but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love which he has loved us, even when we were dead in trespasses, made us alive together 
with Christ. Amen. And so, um, as I sat down and watched the apps, you know, in verse 2, when the Bible mentions the power or the prince of the power of the air, the prince of the power of the air, and it links the prince of the power, the power of the air to all the deviant behaviors that we have in our days. Um, the spirit that now works in the sons of disobedience, the conduct of oneself in the lust of the flesh, fulfilling the desires of the flesh and of the mind, becoming children of wrath, etc., etc. And, you know, when you talk about the power of the air, now we, we, we talk about the airwaves. And when we talk about the airwaves, we are talking about all these things that we are talking about. The internet, you know, the Facebook, the YouTube, and all the, these have all become part of the, of the airwaves, the power of the airwaves. And so the devil is using the power of the airwaves to destroy and to promote acts of deviancy. And that is why God is charging us to use these same airwaves, this same power of the air, to bring the opposite, to bring the mind of Christ. Hallelujah. And so what we are doing here is very, very important, even in the spiritual realm. Very, very important. And so let's, let's stand and pray for uh, these key stakeholders of this app and lift them up before the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Shall we all pray together for them? Hallelujah. Father, we want to thank you. We bless you. Glory be to your name for such an up that has come timelessly and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for the leadership of your church and the leadership of the youth ministry. We want to thank you for the possessing the nation's agenda and all the things that, Lord, in your own wisdom, you are putting together to make this agenda a reality. We bless you and we give you all the glory. We thank you for the team. First, the those who put this up together. We thank you for the innovation. We thank you for the creativity. We pray that, Lord, you will continue to breathe into them, O oh God, and cause them, having done this up to, for the church, we pray, O oh God, that you will increase their knowledge and cause them to grow from grace to grace and from glory to glory. We pray for the IT management team. We pray for the counselors. We pray for the ambassadors and all the stakeholders that are working, going to work on this app day in and day out, 24-7. We pray that you endow them with insight, with wisdom, with knowledge, with wits, and the ability to respond to challenges that are brought by the users on the spur of the moment, oh God, spirit of the living God, you are more than capable of doing this. And we lift all of them into you, oh God, wherever they are watching us around the four corners of this globe, oh God, touch them, oh God, touch them, touch them, oh God, and breathe into them and cause them, oh God, to discharge this onerous responsibility that has been placed upon their shoulders. Cause them to lead our young people, our children, and even adults. As they browse through this app, oh God, meet them at their point of need. And cause our team to lead them to higher grounds. We pray that the grounding agenda will be expedited and accomplished and fulfilled through the use of this app. Let this app catch fire. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Swooping across the nations. Hallelujah. Let God arise. And his enemies be scattered. Cause this to be used. 
to destroy those and ideas that are going around the air, the power of the airwaves and destroying. And let us counter it by using this up so that the kingdom of Christ will reign from shore to shore, from coast to coast, and from nation to nation. We bless you. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Thank you very much, our dear daddy, Apostle Naya Kumilabi. Uh, daddy, today also happens to be uh, the day that we have loved to bring out a newsletter that the School of Apologetics uh, Committee of the Youth Ministry has brought out. The School of Apologetics has the mandate of empowering young people in the teachings of the Bible, especially against uh, doctrines that the devil is bringing up and deceptions and all that. So we use a classroom approach, bring young people together, teach them, let them get the basics, and then hope that we are going to effectively engage media and our world, our contemporary world, with those teachings so that uh, the people of God will be strengthened and so that they can stand, as the Bible has said. Uh, with our vision of grounding young people in Christ, the, youth of, uh, the School of Apologetics was given another mandate to not only hope to engage the public space through the students they train, but the committee itself must have necessarily have the work of engaging social media, meeting young people there in the public space on what they seek to give them through the students. And so they are preparing for a TV program, they are on social media, and they have planned to come out with a newsletter it's not going to be pr printed as this. It's a soft newsletter that's going to be designed nicely and pushed into the system and it's going to be on the app. And so we want to humbly announce that by the grace of God, uh, this is the first edition of the School of Apologetics uh, newsletter of the youth ministry. Amen. Amen. At this point, we hand over to our daddy, the general secretary, for his closing remarks. Thank you. Praise the Lord. We once again want to give thanks to God for what he's doing in his church. Especially what he has deposited in the young guys in our church. Growing up, we used slide rule and four-figure tables and all that. Those were the days that your early morning mental... You have to cram the thing and then move on. But thank God as life moved on, things began to change. And this year I've learned or one or two things have challenged me which has made me believe more in the youth. I believe in the youth. I remember when I was first elected in 2013 when they interviewed me, I said, I was going to depend on the strength of the youth and the wisdom of the elderly to move the church forward. So I believe in the youth. But for this year, you have really challenged me. Three things. The covered 20. And then how some youth help us to organize this virtual council meeting and the e-voting. And they've topped it up with this Pentecost Youth app. I'm taking two quick scripture readings, 1 Timothy 4:14 4, and 1 Chronicles 12:32. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith and in purity. Then 1 Chronicles 12, 32 is a popular one also. Of the sons of Issachar who had understanding of the times to know what Israel ought to do, their chiefs were 200 and all their brethren were under their command. One 
don't let anyone despise your youth. Two, sons of Issachar understood the times. So realize that the sons of Issachar could design God's timing. Regardless of the challenges at their time, they were able to design. And then God gave them the grace to innovate things, to bring to the fore new things that help their generation. Therefore, the other tribes listened to them and they were in charge. If you read somewhere, you realize that even when they were moving, God asked Judah to lead, then sons of Issachar followed. While the praise singers were leading, people who could discern had to follow before the other tribes. Therefore, I want to encourage our youth that you are on the right track. We need your wisdom. We need your innovations. We need your strength to be able to possess the nations. We are old. Sometimes in COP, I dare say that we, we adopt and adapt to technology very slow. Before we realize, others have gone far ahead of us. But thank God, on this age, God is calling or has put together the over 42 percent. The youth is about 42 percent of our church, adding the young guys or the teenage guys, we are about 73 percent. So if these 73 percent of our church want to adopt this technology, I think our messages will go far, and we will be able to possess the nation as God has put that agenda before us. So on that note, one, as a youth, let no one despise your youth. Two, be able to discern the times and pray to God to give you new ideas. Before people respect you, they have to understand where you are coming from, what God has deposited in you, and what you stand for. If you are able to do these things, then I want to stand here and assure you the whole executive council is solidly behind you because we believe in you and we trust with you coming on board we'll be able to possess the nations. Brothers and sisters in the home, this is the generation of the youth. This is IT era. This is technology era. Let's give our youngsters the space to operate and be able to do that with them leading us, designing the times, and coming up with new things, surely COP will be able to possess the nations. May the good Lord bless all of us. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. On behalf of the youth ministry, we want to uh, thank our fathers very much for their presence here and for their blessings uh, upon us. Uh, we will move very soon to the vote of thanks. But this whole week, now what you know every year, youth week. And now, we can say, well, baby, say, one shin year, pe, one year, 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 one before we realize, they, they push us into English. A ban in Sansoa. Na niyamana ye ye non ti ase epe si ye de ba gran u biya ti ase no. E du tan biya na e ya kwa ya brofon kwa. En ti no, ye hun se ye yu fwi ki no. Niyama be bira kosu bet brofon no do so pa. Ye be bo ye hon modin se next time ye be dane no na chi no. En so abim ni other languages. Abim. En ti, ye ka ye se nyami ado Monday no. Yamia Sema, you read the Maya and say, Emra, we are say a query, and Anasma, what can't one say, we are say baby, yeah, a sumbeka tanipa be brain so. Na Satan bay and Yama be brain, nipa bed door, eh, of a fed day. I see Yame, I ye no ma basa basa basa. Na Yamia Sema, a cassan, and no answer say, and Nani be dreary, and Yami be pitch and nippy. Yame de Nahon de Bani Pebby so. Or the baby you to so, or the baby in penny for so. Now, what shall send your Bible no can? I want the baby you to funny a giddy giddy giddy. Eddie, I want the I genuinely a German. 
Nyame nam na sanso ka kiren se sa mra urade kan ene ewo mi. Nyame de tu enu mi se yes o be ma nyame kwa no si si u no waka sam nyame nkro fo na o be ye ne dwuma no in the last days. Dan sa o be tena ha ne sum akata oso. Ana nyame ka kiren se sa ni pa o de won ye dwuma no o si si Ha he grounds them in him. O ma wo o nya fapem. O ma wo tintim. Ana o ma ye hu se Sanya obi nya emrama na to bo na wa obi ma obi serious e wa abrabo ona oba na se akwento onu tu se otintim wonu mu no e na be kire dwuma obetumi aye apostle paul my ready tintim no ye otumi ye dwuma pa enti no nya me monday no sane urade ka kire ye e na nya me e de ye we se ye ma no kwan ye ma no kwan na onye ho dwuma ye nka amen pa tuesday no ya ko boga e ko cape coast e ko ho e ba akra e chere chere da na youth no bebre e ye isua ne ama bebre wednesday yesua small group wednesday no ya chere se ti say na me som ana se a vision a grounding vision no me bi wise wa na wo ye wo quite time ne no me ti sa afen so e se se unya wadan for for ka kre bi a woni o mo bo me som nyame a mo nyina mo challenge mo na mo ye bibi Obi bi sai na wa nya o kwai time na wa ya na na wo hemi hu asora che mu nya mere bom pai bo mu sua nya me asem bom because two christians are better than one if only they are one as they say ti mo nya wa dan fofo na fi ye nya ni sai na ho asem ni sua wednesday na nya me adom thursday nya me de em papa chairman be dom ye obi bi eni about abrabo ha no me nya no me nyina na wan hwe ni a wo be nya ni aka kire but o ma yet as say apart from bible ye kan ni empire ye bo Nyo me bu wi ase se o ma woni koso ese se wo ye young person a wo nya ni so ade hu bi na afi wutu hu ana mo na nia wo ye bia wo de aho den ye na akojofo o se okodwe obi a na koma antoni ye me kwadwe ni no eh no o can say yes there's a difference between contentment and laziness aha ka se o mi de ye me de ye ma koma tom ye ene obi a o se o me am impe bebere monfenko eh eh oni hafo wo yesa wo oni heni na mum yiro ho a na wo yiro ho na ewrade de be ma ono ma wakoma ento yem e wo e na afi ye ba friday sorry ye ba friday no eh ye ye shaka night ye nyame aya na afi ye ye mega youth watch night e na nan so ya ka nyame asem o social media placard evangelism one on one e na enumre nyame aboa ye na ye wie youth afi nyame boa o tena ye be asore ye be ye o english chi konkomba ga ewe ena afi eh french and so anka amen pa various things and ti ye pese we see see ho we jesus christo dimu amen ansa na eh ye ye patron be ba na wa kan bi bi kakra na wa bom pa ya maye no ye pese ye take your vote of thanks and to be build your humble sebe from mrs eh gifty and so I appear now. Well, please put your hands together for the Lord. Youth. Oh, youth. And youth. Me jidi ye pase and you may win him and bear Jane say, Yadin Yankupon Asidaka. Em send me a young papa no di kai kai no. Anka Church of Pentecost dear near me be at the say no. Eh me be a chemuno. And can ye be bim pa ye best on day. Nancy baby and yami or dear ya be to me. Why ye be bri and see and you may yam my and sasso. Baby I will be a ya my and sasso. A catcher and send ya why ye no a ye ni so na ye fiya kumemu e danasi. Amen. Nia to asu beam no ye pese ye dayem papa chemanasi. Eh, why ye a ja papa dia my yen. In fact, okay ye website in a cra. Na nimu a ode da ho a ode eji wo ana ode ye e ma wa kwa ba no kra eno nko aya aboto yem wata ye chi bibi bia ministry youth ministry pesa ye ye no wata ye chi empire bo akwanchre em e futu ni nyina ode man ne ne na de so bebre ni nyina onya adaje de man em chairman apostle eric kobna nyame che ye kase nyame onko so endo mu na oma ne nsa enkoso enyekese ewo wo so afen so enwumrei ye ba hen 
ya hu se yam papa no abeta ya chi ama yakoma ato ya yam yam papa general secretary eh ono so na de so anya keto akra na so wagye bibia oye e na nwumre waba oba ene so obema ya nyame asem en sam one fashion no me enu a ode gyan yen se wo se ya yam krofo a eni kwan se obi bebu ya nimtia esan se ya ya mabunu nti na ne toso mienu ye ye mabuni e wo se ye ti nyanya me pese oye e wo mri bia mu discerning the times one kai bibia no sa ne me wo de bo wa boso ano na wo de nante a e be ye wo be ye nshira enti am papa genius nya me nshira o kese ya da ye am papa am diso asepa enwumre wo no so ye nshira o se se the power of the air no is talking about the airways no one that said and we took over the digital space. Amen. Hallelujah. And see, Papa, you don't see the brain. So we'll be a new ever so kind of soon. We'll be tired. So you're a patron, dear. I'm apostle SO Asante. Fitiana pa and then po fitiana pa and on the air. Now, now, why you know you to me? Meaning, say you can imagine for yourself. He's been a great father. Na ana pe mo amuti en moti ne futu sem ene ni nyansa sema o demaye papa ye kase nya me onhira o na ye sre nya me so obeko so adum o na watumi edi wa adum ene wo nyansa edi youth ministry yi echi na aye enshira hallelujah oh hey brother <laughs> hey sister i don't know what to say about her indefatigable youth director i don't know what to say yeah, yeah, previous youth, um, yeah, just um, exited youth director all con. Now, you just oh, you man, asa youth no dear to me. It's nice, you know, where you're about the home, and you may be in no buy a new who's a juman. Hallelujah! Now, he's 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 a man of God, a man that loves the Holy Spirit, he's a Holy Spirit man. And no wonder in a time such as this, God has given him as a blessing to the youth ministry. Now, ne 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 eye ne vision ene na ho brasea o de manya me ni mpenifo ene ye ye hu ni aye hu oba ye ncheye nanso ye hu se nya me na kasaye hallelujah em you director we want to say god bless you eh ye pese ye da em national executive committee ni nyina ase em about almost all of them on the tenure of office is over um, but obeka safe kra na djuma na omo sha ase omo di mirika eni bibia e wose omo ye bia omo ye so want to say we want to salute the national youth executive committee of the youth ministry of the church of pentecost why why biem na ye moni din why na ye njana ambassadors ya damase technical team ya damase app developer god bless you richly na youth members nyina so bibia wo wo ya pese ya damase Munina and that my yajuma pa osha platform so our co space na what me say youth my yajuma nyame and shramo na fen so you may view us in na or be a washe ya pasi at me and sanya kasa nyame on ye on on shrow na even as you decide even as you decide to download the app no and we pray that it shall be a blessing to you. Pen TV is all about Jesus. You've been awesome. Yen Wiki, you've, you've done great and marvelous things. I want to say thank you to all of us, all and sundry. May the Lord God Almighty be a blessing to you. Amen. Christ in you, we thank God for bringing this program to a successful end. And before we take the prayer from our patron would want to indulge everybody that please go to play store if you are an iphone user app store please download the app and you will be a blessing um the app is for free but you just pay just two cd to help us with the work of the lord amen so please it is free tell your brother that it is free tell your sister that it is free you will just have to give something something very small to cd to help us make sure that everything runs smoothly we thank you very much for joining us and please do all to download this app and you will be a blessing we will now call on our patron apostle leso asante to give us the closing prayer we give the glory to jesus and tell of 
Shall we be on our feet wherever you are, please? Join us. We give the glory to Jesus and the of his wonderful life. Let's sing it again. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his love and tell of his love. We give the glory to Jesus and tell of his wonderful life oh and tell of his wonderful life. shall we close our eyes a father in heaven how can we thank you how can we glorify your name and exalt your holy name for all the things that you do for us and these things have come to us through the love that you have for us as individuals and the love that you have for your church father when we go back and look at the beginnings of the church of pentecost and father if we think how far you brought us we cannot say anything but we say father we bless you because the things that you've done for us is overwhelming who thought that a time was going to come the church of pentecost was going to do evil thing but it has happened and father all these things that we are seeing are demonstrations of your goodness and this tells us the father you've prepared the church to possess the nations in this time you've prepared the church to move out and draw people onto you you've prepared the church of pentecost that even as the world is getting to an end you use us to bring many into your kingdom and father will lift up your name we thank you for these innovations the father you've planted in our youth we bless you for the wisdom we bless you for the knowledge we are praying in jesus name we know that there are so many things that father you can use them for and even as we stand before you today a day where father we've commissioned this up we are praying in jesus name that you shall continue to increase the knowledge of these ones in jesus name and that father anything that you want to use them to do to propagate the gospel of your of jesus christ through the church of pentecost father this will be done build them up be with them in their education in jesus name and father i want to take this opportunity to pray for those who have gone to school and those who are here to join them in going to write their final exams we pray that holy ghost you will be with them in the name of jesus the father you pour freshness upon them remind them of the things that they've learned father i pray that you will remove from them any fear especially the fear of covid 19 in the name of jesus we know you are going to protect them you are going to keep them safe this is the confidence that we have and we know you are going to do it we give you the praise we thank you for everything that has taken place in this place father let this thing that has been done sink deep into our hearts and into our mind cause us to use this as an alternative as father we've already said to all other social media platforms that through this you will meet our needs and speak to us and father lift up our spirits we bless you we give you the glory for what you've done and what you continue to do in our lives and in the life of the church of pentecost we bless you in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed with thanksgiving and shall the church say amen May the Lord bless you. May the Lord cause his countenance to shine always upon you. May the Lord raise you up and cause you to stand strong among your peers. In Jesus' name, shall we depart in peace. Amen. Amen. God bless you.
you along the journey of awesomeness with the Pentecost Youth app. Let's discuss the notices feature of the Pentecost Youth app. The notice feature allows users to receive alerts or announcements right from the office of the youth ministry and the church at large. For example, here we find an alert received concerning a message shared by the chairman of the church. All users will hence receive alerts on upcoming events, just like the COVID 2020 was shared here in the alert. There is also the pencil section and a section for newsletters. App users can access information from these features right on the Pentecost Youth app. Let's now explore the Bible feature of the Pentecost Youth app. The Pentecost Youth app gives us access to several versions of the Bible. We have the New King James Version, which can be switched to the King James Version. You can as well switch from dark mode of the app to a bright mode. Keep following for a brief of all the amazing features of our app. Hey brother, be grounded. Hey sister, be grounded. Hey sister, hey brother. be grounded.